Hey everyone, welcome back with another session of history. So today we will uh, discuss about the earliest societies. Okay. So before going uh, towards the chapter, so just most let's recapitulate about some important topics. That is evolution. So when we talk about this evolution, what does this evolution means? So evolution means that is the gradual development of something. So as we are talking about the life of early humans, so the human evolution is the lengthy process of change by which people originated from the ape-like ancestors. All right. And to study the evolution of early humans, we have to rely on what? On archaeological sources, as no written records are available for this field. So, most of the information about this field comes from fossils and artifacts, such as tools, utensils, bones, and other remains that may be available for this field. Alright, so when we talk about this uh, human evolution, the first evidence of human evolution can be traced back to the continent of Africa and it's around 1.8 to 1.3 million years ago. Now the fossils of these early humans come entirely from Africa. Alright, so they traveled in all directions in search of food, water and new places to live. Understood. So in the early stages humans uh, uh, were mostly hunters and gatherers and nomads. Alright, so hunters and gatherers, so they used to hunt animals for their skin, for their flesh and bones. And nomads in the sense, so when the resources of one place were exhausted, so they moved to other places. So they used to live either under trees or in caves. Alright, so these are the uh, different, so these were the lives of the early humans. Alright, now the first thing that we uh, that come up that is the stone age all right so the stone age the prehistoric period distinguished by the use of stone tools all right and thus it is described as the stone age so you can say the prehistoric period is known as the stone age now this stone age this stone age is divided into three phases all right first that is the Paleolithic age, second the Mesolithic age and third that is the Neolithic age. Now Paleo means, Paleo means old. So Paleolithic age means the old stone age and Meso means middle. So Mesolithic age determines the middle stone age and Neo, Neo means new. So this Neolithic age determines the new stone age. Alright, so the division of the stone age is based on basically the available tools and the level of refinement observed in the tools of each particular period. Now when we talk about the stone age, so first let's discuss about the different stone age sites. Now while talking about the stone age sites, so the first thing that comes up in mind that is what is a site? So our site particularly is a place where the remains of past culture are found in the form of artifacts and fossils. Okay, so basically it's place from where the geographers, from where the historians and archaeologists, they got the evidence uh, in the form of artifacts and fossils. Alright, now these sources that help in the reconstruction of the past may be found on the earth surface and sometimes these are also found buried deep beneath the earth surface. In fact, you would be surprised to know that some sources of the past are even found underwater. Such as if you see for an example, the lost city of Dwarka in Gujarat. Alright, so all the evidences of that city are found under the water. 
Now, such as sources like tools, caves, and rock paintings, these were found under the water. And these uh, further, these provide us with the information about the different lifestyle of the people during that particular stone age. Okay, now a large number of finished and unfinished stone tools have been found at different sites in India. Okay. So, the places where these stones were easily available and where people made tools were classified as factory sites. So, they were known as factory sites. Now, what are these uh, importance of these factory sites? The places that have been distinguished as factory sites, they have large box of stones or tools that may have been discarded or left behind since they were not perfectly chiseled or sharp understood so they also contain small chips that may have been the waste material accumulated while making stone tools okay see the picture here you will understand how these stone tools they mm, try to make different kinds of tools out of these stones okay now second another thing that comes up that is the habitation sites now as in the factory sites people made different kinds of tools out of those stones big stones so these habitation sites were places where people lived and included caves and rock shelters all right now people during the stone age may have chosen to live in caves and rock shelters as they provided shelter from rain heat and wind so, in, uh, for example, as a habitation site, if we see the Vim Vetka Caves in Madhya Pradesh, they are an example of this habitation site. Alright, so, the different important Stone Age sites in India include Pondapur, Navasa, Mahargarh, Vim Vetka, Edakal. So, these are the important Stone Age sites which you need to remember. Alright, now, as we talk about this stone age, the first uh, division, the first phase of this stone age that comes up, that is the Paleolithic age. All right, so that we know it as the old stone age. So the first phase of the stone age is known as the Paleolithic period or the old stone age. All right. Now, the Paleolithic period, they, it was developed during the Ice Age and was spread throughout India, except the alluvial plains. Alright, except the alluvial plains of the Ganga and the Indus. Now, the Paleolithic period began around 5 lakh BCE and came to an end around 10,000 BCE. Alright, came around 10,000 BCE. So, during this period, what happened during this period early humans sustained themselves early humans sustained themselves through hunting and gathering and they also wandered from place to place in search of food and lived in temporary settlements such as caves and at times under trees now the different tools in this period were not refined were not refined and were basically stones that were not polished or curved. Okay, so the, the tools in the Paleolithic periods were mainly flakes that had been broken off from the bigger stones to serve their purpose. Understood? So these were flakes that had been broken off from the bigger stones. Now these different tools, they were mainly used as weapons okay to hunt and some tools were also used to cut meat and scrap animal skin understood so these were the different things that were done in the paleolithic age so that's all we have in this session in the next session we will discuss various other things about the paleolithic age and the division of the paleolithic age till then bye bye